What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing on this Saturday? I hope this video finds you well. Okay, so got some things taken care of on the truck. Let me pick you up. I'll take you out there. Show you out there anyway. Look at that almost clean, majestic beauty. Um, got some things done on it this week. Um, got the TPS sensors replaced in all the wheels and tires so that pesky tire light is gone. It's out of here. See you later. Hasta manada. You know. Uh, Chase got his truck back looking beastly as ever. Uh, when I say that, I'll drop uh, this picture in right now. Now, I know it may not be everybody's cup of tea but it does look really really good looks really cool um he's proud of it and that's what matters it's what matters it's what he likes and he's got some more things to do to it so you'll see that down the road at some point three two one okay so announcement october 8th and 9th i will be camping at bandy creek campground that is at Big South Fork. Now, my intentions were to go to um, Land Between the Lakes that weekend, but I screwed up. So, I'm going to Big South Fork instead. May try to do Land Between the Lakes in November, early November, maybe the first couple, one of the first weeks in November. Um, October sounds like it may get kind of busy anyway, but I'm still going to try to do a couple day trip on up to Daniel Boone National Forest, um, probably towards the end of October. Um, but my plans are right now for uh, Big South Fork is to leave here on Saturday morning, drive up. I've got, I'm going to go to the, the road that um, I went down once and turned around didn't go all the way down i want to go all the way down that road to that this time then i'm gonna you know see how time goes i mean you know see where i'll explore may even go back to that road that i found that um i wasn't sure about at first now that i look at it i probably could have done it so probably gonna go back and do it um and may explore a little north in big south fork and see where we can go from there but anyway, um, if you want to come up and camp or come camp with me, okay. As I was saying, I, I'm staying in the A section. I'm staying in site 13. Um, so keep that in mind. If you want to come find me, hang out, whatever, that's cool. I'm down for it. Um, if you want to come up and hang out with me all day, that's cool too. Uh, but I, you know, I will be camping there that night. Um, Tentatively, I guess I can have two vehicles in the campsite. Um, you know, if somebody wanted to reach out to me and say, hey, I want to come hang out with you or whatever, then we can do that. Um, but my big plan is, I mean, I'm planning on going solo at this point in time. I'm planning on going solo. If you want to come up, family wants to come up, y'all want to camp, be close or something, whatever, that's fine too. Like I said, I'll be in site 13. There's plenty of sites available around me. So there's that. Um, but what I'm looking at doing is something towards Daniel Boone at the end of October. In early November, I hope to do Land Between the Lakes. Uh, like to do a dispersed camping trip up there one weekend in november probably the first weekend or so it'll start getting cold but we've got ways of fighting that now um so anyways that's what my tentative stuff is still working on the trip to see my, the eagles at Mon at um, real foot lake um that's going to be january february would like to stay in the cabins if anybody wants to come do that get in touch with me because the cabins are more expensive than I thought they were. And if you want to come and hang out and go shoot photos of eagles and stuff with me, well, I want to need some help splitting a little bit of the cabin. Um, 
but they're available right now I plan on trying to book one I would say no later than mid-October so with all that in said all that in said Wow anyways guys <laughs> since I can't speak anymore um, I've got a bunch of stuff I've got to bring to you that I'm putting in the can to edit and do all that good stuff um, it's been a crazy week been a crazy month for us family wise we've just been really busy and it doesn't like it slowing down much but I'm taking my opportunities where I can and will so that's enough I'm just rambling at this point be prepared see you on the next one